Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 197. Now one concept to remember here is that any pathogen that enters the system will cause an antibody response. So since there could be millions and billions of different pathogens, you need diversity in your antibodies to ward off all these different pathogens. So therefore, there are several different ways of antibody diversity because it has been estimated that humans generate about 10 billion different antibodies. So name the four different ways of generating antibody diversity. The first way to achieve antibody diversity is through random recombination of VJ, which are the light chains, and VDJ, which are the heavy chain genes. The second way is for random recombination of heavy chains with light chains. The third way is somatic hypermutation. And the final way is the addition of nucleotides to DNA during recombination, which is achieved by the enzyme terminal deoxynucleotidyl transferase. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.